nerds. They're everywhere. Urkel, Milhouse, Napoleon Dynamite, heck, even President Obama's a little nerdy. But rarely do we come across a fashion nerd. This week at Threadbanger, our search for the nerdiest how-to led us to Project Runway's own fashion nerd, Diana Ng. She's taken a lesson out of her new book, Fashion Geek, and showing us how to add a little bit of electricity to our closets using conductive thread and LEDs. Materials you'll need are a pocket protector, mm -hmm. a pair of glasses, yep. and a protractor. Hi, my name is Diana Ng, and we're in my apartment studio in Nolita. You may know me from Project Runway Season 2. I was the fashion nerd because I like to combine fashion with technology, science, and math. Um, you can visit my website at fashionnerd.com. I just read a book called Fashion Geek. It has 13 do-it-yourself fashion technology projects that teach you how to combine electricity with fashion. We're going to be making robot and friend conductive thread embroidery project from the short circuit project in my book, Fashion Geek. Still early. So the things that you'll need for this project are the garment that you're going to be sewing the robot embroidery to, conductive thread, scissors, two LEDs for the robot's eyes, a 2032 coin cell battery, um, they're three volts and they're really small and circular, uh, a BS7 battery holder uh, for that battery specifically, disappearing ink pen, needle nose pliers, and regular gray thread that is not conductive, wire cutters. And lastly, you'll need a sewing needle. We're going to be embroidering the robot and friend um, circuit onto this piece of white fabric so that you can see how it's made, but you can actually embroider it onto any garment. The way a circuit works is that there is a positive and negative side to the power supply, uh, which is this battery over here. There's also a positive and negative side to the LED. Um, you can tell because the legs on the LED or the leads are two different lengths. The long one is going to be attached to the positive side of the battery and the short one will be attached to the negative side of the battery. So when we're embroidering this circuit we need to make sure to differentiate between the positive and negative side. When you're looking at the pattern, you'll notice that there's a negative conductive thread which will attach to the negative side of the battery and the negative side of the LEDs, and that's going to be the long dash line. And then there's the positive conductive thread which is going to attach to the positive side of the battery and the positive side of the LEDs. This is the dot line over here. The first thing that you want to do is trace the pattern onto your garment with the disappearing ink. So there's a little bit of prep that needs to be done with the electronic parts before we can sew with them. We're going to be making the LEDs into sewable beads and we're going to be breaking the leads off of the battery holder. You can break the leads off of the battery holder by just grabbing them with pliers and bending them back and forth until they break. These leads are usually located on the bottom of the battery holders and they're to solder the battery holders into place on a circuit board. On the LEDs, we're going to be cutting the leads shorter and then we're going to be bending them into little circles like this LED bead. You're going to want to cut the shorter lead to be about half an inch in length and the longer lead to be about three quarter inches in length. Now you're going to bend the lead straight up so that the LED can lay flat. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, I like these really thin jewelry pliers, um, you're just going to curve the lead into a circle. So this is the longer lead, so we're going to make a bigger circle on this side. So you just gradually start curling at the end. Okay, and then with the smaller lead, you're going to curl it into a smaller circle. And you can use the very tip of the pliers. And now you have your LED bead. So you're going to do the same thing with the second LED for the other eye. What happens when you put together one band and one filmmaker to create an original music video for $99? Watch world premiere videos every week at 99dollarmusicvideos.com. $99 Music Videos is best experienced with Verizon Fios Internet. You're watching Threadbanger. Now we're going to start sewing the circuit. We're going to be sewing with a single strand of thread. Start sewing at the positive side of the battery. So just place the battery holder right where you've drawn it over here. And the positive side is this side right over here. So not the end of your thread. So we're going to start by stitching up through the fabric and then going through this little hole over here, which is the positive contact. 
After you've come out of the battery holder, you're going to want to wrap the conductive thread around the positive contact so that you make sure that it has a really good connection. What you do, it's come up through the part over here and now you're going to just wrap it so it loops around and then go back down through that hole that you came up out of. Do the same thing a second time sewing through the battery holder and around the contact. So now you're going to stitch down along the dotted line over here. Be sure to stitch along the top of your fabric so that your stitch line will be visible because it's part of the pattern and just pick up little pieces of the fabric with the tip of your needle. So when you get to uh, the robot's mouth you're going to start stitching on the LEDs and you're going to stitch on the larger loop which is the positive side of the LED. So to stitch on the LED, just um, go up through the LED with the thread and then you're going to go through the fabric and back up through the LED. Okay, and now you're just going to wrap the conductive thread around the um, lead of the LED just to make an extra good contact and then stitch back down through the fabric to the back. Okay, now sew across to make the rest of the math pattern. Now you're going to stitch on the large loop of the other LED eye and you're going to sew in the same way that you did the last one. Um, after you have both of the LED eyes sewn on, you're going to knot the thread at the back. So now we're going to be sewing the negative side of the circuit. So we're going to stitch up through the negative part. Now we're going to be stitching through these two slots in the battery holder. And once again, um, like with the positive contact, we want to make sure to have really good contact with the negative contact so that the circuit will be well connected. So we're going to wrap this thread underneath the negative contact over here and stitch back down through the opposite slot in the fabric. Once the battery pack is sewn down, sew the rest of the pattern. Make sure that the positive thread and the negative thread do not touch or you will short your circuit and basically the thread will get really hot and then melt. Okay, so when you get to the top of the robot's head, you're going to sew on the negative leads of the LED. So you're going to start by stitching up through the small loop. Um, you're going to stitch up through the loop again. And then to make a really good connection, you're going to stitch around, only through the loop, not through the fabric, and then stitch back down through the fabric. And then we're going to stitch on to the other loop of the LED. For this other small loop, just do the same thing. Okay, stitch only through the loop, make a good connection, and then go back down into the front. And when you get near the neck over here, um, you're going to want to make sure not to stitch all the way into the neck because that is actually the positive thread and we don't want to create any short circuits. So stop about one stitch length beside the next stitch since that's the positive thread and stitch down to the back of the fabric, flip it over and knot the thread. A little trick I like to use while sewing with conductive thread is to coat the ends uh, in sobo glue because once you cut the thread, there are the loose ends that can kind of flap around and touch other parts of the circuit and create a short circuit. So you really don't want to do that. So you can just take the sobo and dab a little bit on the loose ends and cover them. So this is probably the most exciting part. Now that you're finished sewing the circuit, you're going to test it with the battery. Make sure that the positive side of the battery is on the top. It has a little plus on it. And you just stick into the battery holder, see if the LED light up. Using the regular thread, sew the rest of the pattern. And you might want to double up the regular thread because conductive thread is usually a little bit thick, so you want it to match. So we're done sewing our little robot and friend conductive circuit. Uh, thanks for coming over, Thread Banger, and visiting. Snip, snip. A big thanks to Diana for hanging out with us. What makes you a geek? Let out your inner nerd in the comments below. And if you're really a nerd, you should be following us on our social networking sites, twitter.com and facebook.com. See you next week. Whoa. That is nerd to the max. Live long and DIY. Nerds do that robot. Do they? Twitter.com and Facebook.com. Remember when we used to say MySpace.com? My what? MySpace. <laughs>